All right, Shalom. Let me start by giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakaha Kodash, and the honors to the apostles and others, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. Bahasham is in the name. Rakaha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also Shalom to the 144,000 men that live in this truth. For the sake of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kodash coming back here with another uh, video here, another lesson through the Spirit and power Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. All right. And the title of this lesson, Lord willing, is going to be uh, wisdom. Uh, wisdom, either wisdom uh, lifted up the head lifts up the head, you know, or wisdom uh, puts you on a level, all right, you know, whatever the spirit permits, all right, because having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, you know, not in a sense of pride, all right, you know, because scripture says, you know, knowledge puffeth up, all right, you know, so, so with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, we do have, you know, the, uh, our head has been lifted up, man, all right, because we was once, you know, at a, at a lower state, you know, having no hope, you know, without Yahweh Shah. But now we have Yahweh Shah. All right, we have hope. All right, we can, we're able to uh, detect uh, the lies, you know, and the uh, and the folly. All right, you know, all the lies that Esau Edom has, uh, has said to us, you know, over the course of our years, man. All right, we're able to uh, detect it. All right, we're able to... Uh, you know, we're, we're able to to, uh, to find out this truth, man, through the grace of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right. Uh, so let me start here. That's uh, 42. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Syrac, chapter 42. Chapter 42, I believe. a lot man. all right so lock here so this is uh syrac or please ask the cuss chapter 42 and verse 8 it says be not ashamed to inform the unwise and foolish in the extreme aged that contendeth with those that are young thus shall thou be truly learned and approved of all men living all right you know because uh uh this truth has gone out you know to you know really really to the youth all right you know you know uh we have the uh the apostles and the elders you know but they also learned at a young age man they've been in this thing you know for uh for 30 20 10 plus years man okay so this truth you know is really you know for the youth all right you know and and when we're out there you know we come across you know aged men all right you know and and extremely aged men all right you know and they try to try to they try always try to say you know oh you know you you you're a youngin you know you don't you you don't know you know or they look at us you know as as if we're young and we don't have that experience all right you know but we're truly learned in these scriptures man all right you know it doesn't it really doesn't take that much time, all right, you know, for you to be uh, learned in these in these scriptures, man. All right, if you apply yourself, you know, the the, uh, the way that you're supposed to, all right, you, you are going to be learned in these scriptures, all right, you know, and, and in really a short time, man. All right, that's why Apostle Tara, you know, I always remember in uh, the Elder Kazak, you know, after six months, man, you know, you, you should be doing videos, you know, doing something uh, productive, man. All right, for this truth, man. All right, because it doesn't take much, man. All right, wisdom, it will uh, it will toil with you. All right, for for a short time. All right, you know, and then it's going to reveal. You know, uh, it's going to it's going to reveal it, reveal itself to you, man. All right, you know, I believe that's in. Um, let me see if I can get that here. If I'm not mistaken, maybe you said right six.
but um, well, let me let me just pull my next preset up here, and I can come back to it. All right, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter eight, and verse ten. It says, it says, for her sake, speaking of wisdom, for her sake, I shall have estimation among the multitude and honor with the elders, though I be young. All right, and and and, and, and that's the same thing that we have now, man. You know, you know, because we have that good report, man. All right, you know, because the uh, the apostles and the elders, you know, they they they. they, they they be seeing us, you know, out there, you know, toiling, all right, teaching, all right. So we got that good report, man. All right, we just gotta stay diligent, uh, diligent in this thing, man. It says for her sake, I shall have estimation among the multitude and honor with the elders, though I be young. All right, because you even got uh, 13, 14 year olds doing this thing, man. All right. It says verse eleven. I shall be found of a quick conceit and judgment. All right, you know, like a. Uh, I looked it up the other day. A, a quick conceit, you know, like a, uh, like a quick answer. All right, or a quick thought. It says I shall be found of a quick conceit and judgment, and shall be admired in the sight of great men. All right, and Lord willing, we we are, you know, we're going to be admired in the sight of great men. All right, that's heavy, man. All right, to be a uh, to be admired, you know, amongst uh, men of the Lord, okay, and you know, and most importantly, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, but we want to have that good report, you know, amongst other men, you know, that's that's been in this thing, man. All right, because the scripture says, you know, we we are entering into other men's labor, man. All right, you know, we are we, we, we actually benefiting. You know, of what, of what other men ha have been toiling and laboring for a long time, man. All right, putting their blood, sweat, and tears in this thing. All right, and we're just, you know, through the grace of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, we are hopping into, you know, other men's labor, man. All right, and we're continuing on, you know, the, for lack of better words, we are continuing on the, the legacy, man. All right, you know. We're coming back into our lots, man. All right? You know, because Lord willing, in our past lives, man, we was prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. All right? So we're coming back into our lots, man. All right? Following out the great men. Okay? Verse 12, it says, When I hold my tongue, they shall uh, bide my leisure or bid my leisure. I think it's bide, Salakia. It says, I'm going to read that again to verse 12. Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 12. When I hold my tongue, they shall uh, bide my leisure. And when I speak, they shall they shall give good ear unto me. If I talk much, they shall lay their hands upon their mouth, man. All right? You know, and even in the carnal sense, you know, if you're amongst, you know, uh, quote unquote, great men in this world, all right? You know, if we're, if we're speaking this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, they're gonna they're gonna shut their mouths, man. All right, they're gonna they're gonna listen. All right, because this these are wise words, man. All right, the words of the heavenly Father, man, is like it's like no other uh, words, you know, or 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 parables or sayings, you know, in this world, man. All right, that's why people can't understand this truth, man. That's why this truth is not given to everybody on a mass scale. All right, because it's high level understanding. All right, and and, and uh. Uh, what's that? Um, wisdom is too high for a fool, man. All right? So this wisdom is too high for a lot of people, man. All right? Because they're fools, man. Okay? You know, they, 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 they are falling after their own lust, man. Okay? It says, when I hold my tongue, they shall buy my leisure. And when I speak, they shall give good ear unto me. If I talk much... They shall lay their hands upon their mouth. Moreover, by the means of her, I shall obtain immortality and leave behind an everlasting memorial to them that come after me. All right? And that's what we're seeking, man. We're seeking uh, immortality, man. 
right? We're seeking an everlasting, everlasting uh, memorial, man. Okay. And um, let me get uh, sorry, right? Or please ask us. Chapter eleven. Chapter 11 and verse 1, it says, Wisdom lifted up the head of him that is of low degree and maketh him to sit among great men. All right? Wisdom lifts you up, man. All right? Because, let me get to this one in Revelation. All right? Because without your how about you, shy, man. All right? You're miserable, man. All right? You're of low degree, man. All right? Niggas in this world, you know, two-thirds, they may think that they winning now. All right? You know, but they're truly losing, man. All right, because in the kingdom of heaven, all right, you know, you're not going to be, you know, you're not going to be on the same level as the elect, man. All right. You know, when Yahweh Shah has parties, <laughs> you know, and it says uh, the elect only, all right, you know, two thirds, they're going to be, you know, sitting on the outskirts, man. And I, and I can just imagine it, man, a, a huge mansion, a huge man mansion, man. All right. You know. So big that you can probably see it, you know, from far away. That's how big it is, man. Yahweh Shah's mansion, okay? And you just uh, see the lights, see the glory. You know, you, you you can hear the music, hear the men, you know, uh, laughing, you know, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right, then you got just two thirds on the outskirts just looking like, man, like we couldn't make it to that party, you know? But but that, that that that's that's really the cost, man. That that that, that, that that's going to be the cost of you not, you know, serving your how about Shemiah Shai on this side, man. You know when it's uh, quote unquote uncomfortable, all right. You know because first coming into this truth, man. You know it's a sense of like like damn, like what is people going to think of me? You know, you know. But as you as you further uh, go on in this truth, you start to not give a fuck, man. All right? Because you know this is the right way, man. All right? So people that you met before that that uh, uh, that may see you out there or you run into them, all right, and you're just different, man. All right? You can't, you can't let that deter you, man. All right? That first scripture I read says, uh, uh, being not ashamed, man. All right? You can't be ashamed of this gospel, man. All right, because if you if you're ashamed of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right, the heavenly uh, Yahweh Shah, he's gonna deny you before his father, man. All right, um, but let me get this here. Okay, this is Revelation chapter three and verse seventeen. It says, "Because thou says, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing." And knowest not that thou art wretch, wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. I counsel thee. Uh, it's, I'm gonna read verse 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. All right, but the point was. Really, verse 17, I'm going to read it again. It says, Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and, and blind and naked, man. And that's and that's our people, man. All right? Because they they actually feel like that they got everything in this in this world. All right? They got everything that they need. You know, they they good. They don't need the Lord. All right? Because they, they may have, you know, <laughs> It's sad, man. They may have that. They may have um, the house, a car, all right, jewelry, you know, nice designer clothes. They may think that they don't need nothing, man. All right, but not knowing that they're they're miserable and poor, man. All right, and wretched and blind and naked, man. All spiritually, man. All right, because they don't, and they and they really blind because they really don't see, you know, what's 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 coming down the pipeline, man. All right, here it is. We're we're out here telling people that America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, that's that's a very terrible uh, 
that's a very uh, terrible destruction, man. All right, uh, one nuclear missile can mess up a whole city, man. All right, and more. All right, but the Lord has, you know, according to the scriptures, you know, 200 million nuclear missiles, man, with the warheads and all that. Uh, millions of missiles coming down on America, man. All right, this place is going to be uh, obliterated, man. All right. Now you got these gas stations, all right. But nuclear missile is gonna come down. You got gas stations. You got uh, you got all this gas, okay. You know you got all this fire that's already that's already you know that's already here in America, all right. You know, and then wait to uh, thermonuclear missiles coming down with great force, hitting these things, man. They already gonna they're gonna cause damage by itself. They're gonna cause even more damage because. Cause there's uh, there's chemicals and things already here in America, man. That's that's ready for a bigger explosion, man. All right, so it's gonna be terrible out here, man. All right, you know, only way you're gonna survive this nuclear, you know, uh, this nuclear attack, all right, is you is if you know you have money like the elites, you know, where you can get a bunker, an underground bunker, all right, because these elites, they uh, some of them are, are gonna are gonna escape. You know the the nuclear missile judgment man all right but don't get me wrong you're not going to escape the judgment of your how about shah man all right because the lord he's going to give he's going to make his men his battle axe man all right we're going to uh search you people in these underground bunkers all right you know in these caves man we're going to search you out man and, and and come and get you man that's how uh, the, the, uh that's how we're going to have slaves man all right because we're going to have you're gonna have certain elites, you know, that's out here, you know, uh, hiding, hiding on the bunkers, man. All right, in the clefts of the rocks, man. All right, as the scripture said, we're gonna take you out of them, all right, you know, and, and bring you into uh, bondage, man, and have you build up our kingdom, man. Okay. And um, let me see here. And um, I close with this if it be of the Lord's will. This is 1 Corinthians 8 and verse 1. It says, Now as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifieth. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing, yet as he ought to know. All right? So we, we can't uh, get too high-headed. All right? Get too puffed up. You know, thinking that we the shit, man. All right? We got to stay... Within that humble spirit, man, it's better to be of a humble spirit, all right, than of a uh, than of a uh, than of a proud spirit, man. Plain and simple, all right. You know, we can always we're always learning in this thing, man. All right, even the apostles, man, they're always learning, man. All right, this is uh, um, living waters, man. All right, waters, living waters is always moving. All right, so we're always we're always growing in this thing, man. All right. You know, we never, we can never know enough, man. That's why it's always good, you know, every day to stay in these scriptures, man. All right? To stay reading, you know, watching the lessons, man. All right? So with that, you know, low wilderness view is edifying. All right? Wisdom has, has lifted up our head, man. All right? You know, but at the same time, you still got to stay uh, uh, 11, uh, even field, man. All right? So with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kodash, the bonus to the apostles and others bearing millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. To the next lesson, I say Shalom, and the Baba Baba, Shalom.